You gotta go pick one up, Junior. Oh, great. Where's this one at? It's at the Smith Blueberry Farm over on 400. Oh, way out there? That guy's long-winded. I'll never get out of there alive. He's not even gonna be there. The tractor's broke down between one of those blueberry rows. You're just gonna have to go out there and find it. He said the gate's gonna be closed, but it's not gonna be locked. So all you gotta do is slide it open and go on in. Oh, great. That place is huge. It could take me all day to find this thing. Well, whatever, Junior. We're just gonna have to charge him for our time. Breaking Podunk News Special Report. Escape murderer on the loose from Podunk County Asylum. Considered to be very dangerous. What's this crap? What happened to my jam? Be on the lookout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. From my shopping yard in Podunk News to the upstairs parts room where Junior and Senior feed the pests all pain from the dusty room. Here we go. Huh. That's weird. Thought he said the gate was closed. Yeah, he probably left it open because he knew I was coming through the mower. All right, I guess I'll start here. to the bottom of this. Where'd he go? He was here just a second ago. What are you doing out here? What do you mean, what am I doing out here? It's a blueberry farm. I'm out here picking blueberries. What are you doing out here? I'm here getting Mr. Smith's mower. You scared the crap out of me, Slippers. Good thing I keep a spare pair in the truck. Oh, you're here to get that mower? Yeah, I seen that thing about 15 rows that way. It's pretty broke down. All right, thanks, slippers. I better get over there. <sighs> Where is this thing? I gotta be getting close. Help me! Ha! Slippers! Help! Oh, let me go! Ah, ah, ah. Pterodactyl here. Today's how-to video is going to be on how to remove broken fasteners. Or broken bolts or broken screws. I'm going to show you how I do it. Now, of course, if you have bolts that are broken off flush, where you ain't got nothing to get a hold of, well, then you're gonna have to drill and tap them out. There's no way around that. You just simply try to center punch as center to the screw as you can, and then take a, a drill and drill it out or drill a hole in it and put it easy out in there. Now, I have a set of these. Maybe you don't know about it, but these are left-handed drill bits. They're left-handed. So sometimes when you break off a, a bolt or a screw, if it's loose, you can put this in your drill, put your drill on reverse, and if you can grab a hold of it, you can extract it. You can get it to come out. And then of course it came with a set of easy outs too. 
I got this one from Matco. And as you can see, I broke a couple of the grills, grilling stuff out. Sometimes, depending on the size of the bolt, it's good to drill a lead hole first and then go in with one of these bigger left-handed bits so it kind of grabs it and pulls it out. This is another set of extractors I got. These are Blue Point. These are sold by Snap-on. Damage Screw Remover, it's called. And uh, these are also left-handed. These, it's, it's good if you uh, drill a lead hole again. So when you get in there, it kind of grabs in that lead hole and helps to pull out the bolt. But these work good. I use these on occasion. And maybe you have some tool that you use. So today, we're going to remove these. And as you can see, they've got some sticking out, which is good for us, or you, in case you're removing them. And I'm going to show you the method on how I go about removing them. The one thing about metal in, in aluminum is that it seizes in there, and that makes it really difficult to get out. If it was steel and steel, a lot of times you can get it out. But when it's uh, seized up in the aluminum, it makes it hard. So you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a wizard wheel, some penetrating oil, a good pair of vice grips, and a drill gauge, and a drill, and a propane torch. You're going to need some heat. Now, Sometimes, on some of these, I put a nut on there. Find a nut that would fit on there, and then tack weld the nut on there, and then take it out. That's a method to do too. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that on this one. Since we got two to take off that are busted off. Let's try that method on this one, and this one we're gonna try my other method. Now this method that I'm doing here works a lot better on larger bolts. Doesn't work too good on these small ones, but we're gonna try it anyway. It works okay on small ones as long as it's really not seized in there bad. Now since we can get to the sides of this here, we can get to these threads, we could reach it. We're gonna drill a hole in there. And we're gonna drill a hole the size of this straw on this lubricant. That's why you need the drill gauge, so you know what size holes to drill. 332nd. So I went ahead and center punched it, and we're gonna drill a hole to meet those threads. So now, we put the straw in there, and we can force lubricant around the threads. And then we're going to add some heat with the propane torch, and then we're going to take this off. Now chances are, if you can't get to the threads like I did, and you do this method, on these smaller bolts, chances are that's going to snap that off. But let's warm it up some. And we'll hit it with a little more lube. And then work it back and forth. You get it to bust loose, slowly work it back and forth. Otherwise you're just gonna snap, snap it off. You gotta be patient. And 
Now, if this was steel on steel, we would just do my heat and quench trick. We just heat it up cherry red and then quench it. It'd come right out. But with the aluminium, you can't do that. Okay, it snapped it off, which happens. So now we go to our next method, and that's where the wizard wheel comes in. But this welding the nut on works a lot of times. Like I said, on the smaller hardware, it's hard to get good penetration on there. So luckily, we still got some thread sticking out. So with the wizard wheel, you're going to want to grind some flax on there. of good flat spots so that way your vice grip's got something to grab onto that's nice and flat if it's round it tends to want to round it off so that's why you got to have flat spots and then make sure you get it on there real tight You know what? I'm going to try a smaller pair of vice grip. Right, I got my smaller pair. And it just snapped off. Boy, these suckers are really in there. Maybe we could try grabbing it from the bottom. Put some more heat on it. Gotta heat it up good and be careful. Don't burn yourself. See, we don't got enough there to grab. All right, so now we have no choice but to drill it out. So we're gonna wanna grind that flat now. And then we're gonna center punch it, and then we're gonna drill it. So again, you gotta get that hole as close to center as you can. Now, I can already tell that this thing is seized in there. There's no way an easy out's gonna take it out. It's too small for one, and it, it's really seized in there. But again, if this was steel on steel, you would use my heat and quench method, which we've got a video on. How to remove rusty parts. For that you gotta have a oxygen and a fetamine torch. So we're gonna go in first with a small drill bit and hopefully a sharp small drill bit. That's our lead drill. So we need a lead drill and of course that bit I had wasn't too sharp. Mm -hmm. Try this one. This one's brand new. This is a little teeny tiny guy. Okay. 
kind of tell when you're getting close to the end. You want to be careful, because that's usually when you drape, break the drill bit off. So I'm going to slow down and not use a lot of pressure on it. Because then if you break the drill bit off and it gets stuck in there, then you got a whole other problem. And of course, lubricant helps whenever you're drilling. There. We made it all the way through. And look. I got it pretty centered. That's why I was moving the, moving the center punch around when I was hitting it. So I could force it to center. Now, if you notice, we're doing this on this crawler head. And the problem, these break off all the time, is because these engineers who got all this schooling want to use a fine thread metric screw in there. They should use a coarse thread screw. And I think they even put Loctite on them, which is, I don't know why you'd have to do that. These things never fall out. I put them back in all the time with no Loctite on them. They don't fall out. But hey, you know, they went to school. They got all that schooling. They know everything. So now we want to go to a bigger bit. So based on the size bolt you're trying to drill out, find out what the drill size is for that tap. This is a five millimeter screw that's in here. So we need 1164 or a number 19. So now we're gonna drill it. We're gonna drill it out. There's your dinner. So now I'm gonna go in with the five millimeter tap. Now if you, if you ruined it, you could always go the next size up in say a standard. So this was five millimeter, so you could go to uh, like a 1024 or a 1032 and try that. You can always, you know, put different hardware or you can helicoil it. They make a five millimeter helicoil kit if you wanted to put it back to original. And then that would open up the hole even bigger to allow for the helicoil insert. So you can do that too. So let me get my five millimeter tap. So I went and got another screw from a crawler and these are like self tapping screws. So I ran it in there and it, it was tight and re-threaded it. See, good as new. You wanna see me hammer down on it, snap it off again? <laughs> All right, so let's try my method again on this other one. Let me try grinding some flats on there again. And it helps when you grind the flats on there to kind of grind it deeper in the back and less on the top. So it's got more to grab onto. You don't want to grind, say these are the flats, my hands are the flats. You want to kind of grind it like this. You don't want to end up like this because then the vice grips want to, want to come off. So that's why you got to kind of grind it in the back. And then I drilled the hole again. This was a bigger screw. You would actually see the lubricant come out 
around the threads. But since this is such a tiny fine thread one, it doesn't. And then again, we're going to pour some heat to it. I tried my heat quench trick on, on aluminum and it, it doesn't work. In case you're wondering. Why don't you do your, your heat quench trick on aluminum, Carol? Yeah, because it doesn't work. It only works on steel. And keep lubing it, keep working it, keep lubing it. Like I said, you gotta have patience. See, is it moving? If you can get it to move. Well, it don't look like it's moving. Boy, these are really seized in there. All right, this one. Same thing, it's really stuck in there. Now I've gotten these out before using that method. It all depends on how bad they are. But this one I'm gonna have to drill and tap. So I went in my scrap bin and I found a spindle where it had broken bolts. And this one had one sticking out. Cause I wanna show you that method and how it works. And this again is bigger. This is like a 5 16 bolt. So I went ahead and drilled a hole in there and then pumped it full of lube. Then we're gonna hit it with the heat. Now, of course, when you heat it up, you know, it's gonna melt the straw, so you're just gonna kinda get back a little. And it'll, hopefully it'll draw it in around them threads. And we'll get our vice grips on there. Find a good spot, get it real tight. Let's see if we can get this out. Mm. Oh, it's moving. I got it to move a little. So you gotta work it back and forth. Raise some more lube. You have to keep lubing it up real good. Try grabbing it over here now. Might end up since I got it to move. I'm gonna weld a nut on there because I got it to move a little. If I weld the nut on there, we should be able to get it out. Another thing that helps is that little piece of bolt you got sticking up would be to hit it with a hammer because there is a little bit of play in the threads. So if you could whack it, you know, it'll kind of help loosen it up so and you can do that as you're getting it out too so my vice grips kept slipping off but we did get it to move so then i went ahead and welded a nut on there and then i was working it and spraying the lube in there and i said once you get it to move pretty good you'll get it to come out. So I got it tight there. Now I'm gonna whack out. Money's here. See how much we got it to turn now? So I got it to where it's tight, again. And then you can whack it. Whack it some more. 
the hammer. And eventually, if you do that enough times, you'll get it to loosen up. Here comes your dinner. Here comes your dinner. Now you use this method if you've got no other choice, where you have to get that out. You know, you could drill it out, but look, we got it out. Look how rusted that thing was, rusted in there. So yeah, a little hole, trying to get around the treads, some heat. Well, the nut on there, whack it with a hammer. And that'll help loosen it up. I want to get that space going between them threads. So, there's the methods I use to remove broken, rusty bolts in aluminum. Like I said, if it was in steel, I would have just heated it with the oxygen and amphetamine torch, cherry red, and I would have quenched it with water, and you could basically take it out with your fingers. But in the aluminum, you got to do that. So, it's a little tougher. It's not easy. But those are little tips and tricks that I use, hopefully to help you. So remember, drill a hole in there if you can. Lubricant, heat, whack it with a hammer. Now you'll have to drill and tap it out the way it is. So, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Ding, 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 ding. Follow me. Facebook and Instagram. Come on. Get all your broken crap and follow me, you grass rats. Go to our web store, pick up some Terrell apparel, so you'll be a Dapper Dan just like Terrell, or a Dapper Terrell you'll be. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Removing old rusty bolts in aluminum! Not that easy! This mower isn't worth it! I gotta get out of here! Ah, you saved me! Man, am I glad to see you! How did you know to come here? I heard on the radio there was an escaped metal patient. And I knew that institution was right next to the blueberry farm. So I jumped in my truck and got over here as fast as I could. Well, way to go, Pa. Now, let's see who this escaped mental patient really is. Uh, 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 it's Mr. Smith! So you're the escaped mental patient that tried to kill me. Tried to kill you? I was just coming out to show you where the mower was. Then why are you dressed like an escaped metal patient? Yeah. Well, me and the wife just got back from a Halloween party. Okay. How do you explain what happened to Slippers? Uh, who's Slippers? I'm sorry, I can't explain that one.